Hi there, I'm Justin Bates of Materials Technology. Uh, we're a test house based in the south of England. Um, we specialise in environmental testing, uh, UV weathering testing being one of our main areas. Uh, and we're the largest independent test house in that area. Um, we offer two types of UV weathering testing. We offer xenonarc testing and we offer fluorescent tube testing or QUV testing. This is a QUV tester um, of the type that we use for the silver fox testing. So looking inside a QUV machine, uh, you have a bank of fluorescent tubes. Uh, these produce the uh, UV light um, for the test. Also at the bottom here, there is a, a water tank. Uh, a test consists of um, alternating cycles of UV and uh, condensation. Um, so the condensation is produced by heating the water tank at the bottom, which produces condensation on the samples. Uh, the particular test we did for Sil Fox was to ISO 4892 Part 3 Cycle 1, which is uh, probably the most widely recognized uh, UV test in the world. Um, this particular test involves an 8-hour cycle of intense UV, followed by a 4-hour period of condensation. So during that period, condensation forms on the test samples. Um, any cracking or damage that is occurring is exacerbated by the condensation. The condensation will enter the cracks, etc. And then when you switch back to the next UV part of the cycle, the condensation is vaporized and cracks tend to be exacerbated. Okay, so as a company, we test for a wide range of industries. Uh, this includes the military, uh, marine companies, aviation companies, um, even unusual companies like Madame Tussauds who tested for. Um, tests generally vary between 500 and 1,000 hours. Occasionally companies will go further than that, maybe two or 3,000 hours. For Silver Fox, the testing we did extended initially from 500 hours um, all the way up to 8,000 hours, which is uh, by far the longest test we've ever done uh, for any company in any industry.